Live. Brought to you by Kellogg's, the folks who give you the widest choice of cereals in the whole wide world. All the great grains in the forms you like best. Yours from Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Now let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers from coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. It's a great pleasure to introduce for another time on our panel as a guest, one of the most distinguished actors on Broadway, now starring in Sunrise at Campobello, Mr. Ralph Bellamy. My pleasure to introduce the beautiful star of stage, radio, television, just about everything, with a brand new hairdo, Miss Arlene Francis. <laughs> and now a gentleman whose new book, Reading for Pleasure, is giving just that to thousands and thousands of people, especially me, Mr. Bennett Cerf. Here's What's My Line's favorite panel moderator and our own private witch doctor, Mr. John Charles Ooe-Ooh-Ah-Ah, Ting Tang, Walla Walla, Bing Bang Daily. Just keep Bennett out of Boston. We've had enough trouble up that way for some time now. Mr. Bennett Freed Surf, how are you tonight? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. We have some interesting occupations for the panel tonight. Interesting only because we think they're going to give the panel a good deal of trouble. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends a little bit later in the show, and we'll meet our first challenger after this. I mean friends. <laughs> it's time for our first contestant. Uh, would you please come in and sign in? Right there. Rosa Lee. Per L. Man. Rosa Lee Felt. Miss or Mrs. Pillman? Miss. Miss Pillman. Where are you from? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yes. Well, Miss Pillman, may I introduce the panel? Panel, will you meet Miss Pillman? Hello, Mr. Now, Mayor. would you come over here and join me, please? Uh, you know how we keep score? Yes. All right, fine. Then let's let the folks in the theater and those who are looking in at home know exactly what your line is. Help, Miss Pillman is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Do you work for a profit-making organization, Miss Pillman? Uh, yes. Uh, can both men and women avail themselves of your services? Yes. Uh, do they want your services because it makes them feel better in some way? I should hope so. Well, here again, we can get wandering a feel. Let us say that the hoped-for end results of Miss Pullman's services would tend in the long run, and if properly applied as a service, to uh, improve the sense of well-being of either a male or female of the species who subsequently, uh, <laughs> well, duh. And there you are. Thank you, witch doctor Daly. <laughs> uh, I don't know where I am now. This is what's my line? <laughs> um, uh, do you ever touch the people that come in contact with you? Mm, no. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, Arlene sort of jumped at the conclusion that you performed a service, Miss Perlman. I take it that's correct. Yes. Uh, do you perform this service in, in, in an enclosure? Mm, yes. 
would that enclosure be uh, either an office building or a, a store of some kind? Mm, could be, yes. Could be? Yes, yes would be a good answer. Mm -hmm. Could you do it in, uh, let's say, uh, Wanamaker's department store or Gimbel's or Snellenberg's or Litz or any one of those Philadelphia <laughs> department stores? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so. Yes. Have you done it at one of these stores? No. Not at any store? <coughs> no, that makes sense. Store in no, the stores, in, none of the stores which were specifically I mentioned. I didn't mean only the stores I mentioned. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon, Betty. I didn't only mean the stores I mentioned. I could go on mentioning other stores. I mean, was it, have you ever done it at a department store? Mm, yes. Would, uh, would what you do at the department store be to display or exhibit something? other than yourself. <laughs> I think that if Miss Pillman is agreeable, we would have to admit that as a part of the service, which is um, provided, there is uh, also an encompassing area which would be displaying, demonstrating, wouldn't you say? I would say that. Yes, yes, yes we would say so, Mr. Kellogg. I mean, Mr. Sir. <laughs> Ms. Perlman, is the thing that you display at times in a department store something that might be used in a person's home? Mm -hmm. Yes. Might it be found in a person's bedroom? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Would it have anything to do with the bed in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. Yes. Goodness, I can't get off here. Might it have something to do with, with the mattress in the bed? Mm, yes. Well, do you uh, demonstrate uh, some kind of a mattress? <laughs> yes, indeed. Miss Perlman demonstrates mattresses in a store window. This is the one thing <laughs> we were hoping would throw you as high as a kite, the store okay, window, but you never perfect. got to it. I didn't expect to, to get you to that didn't? one. Well, I didn't expect you would guess either. <laughs> <laughs> what window are you in well, at present? Oh, um, right now, I'm not, well, I work from uh, day to day. And night to night. Day <laughs> night to <laughs> night. <laughs> oh, I do work in e uh, evenings also. Um, I work in department store windows, furniture store windows. And uh, the mattress isn't just a mattress. It's a vibrating mattress. Oh, well, that's the best kind. Yes, it is. <laughs> Put you to sleep. What? Put you to sleep. Isn't that the oh, idea? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, maybe we better not discuss it. <laughs> All right. One thing I do think that um, you have been very good, actually, because uh, to the degree that you could take Bennett on some other path, you tried hard. You wouldn't give him a really straightforward answer, but he still went and got it. It's well, in England. Well, very and... clever panel, that's all. Oh, we got a wonderfully clever very. panel. But anyway, store windows, there we go. Thank you very much, Miss Perlman. Nice oh, to have may you. I say another thing? That uh, the mattress is made by Englander. Oh, oh certainly well, you may say. So. Anybody there that heaven. does feel very <laughs> tense should try it because it's Anybody wonderful. feels tense should try it. Oh, Will you yes. get four mattresses, please? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> On this same program, the panel and the moderator will all lie on mattresses, vibrating mattresses. Yes. Now let's see what we can do with the second challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Shoshana? Gershaw. Is that right? Miss Gershom, and where are you from? I was born in Russia. You were born in Russia. Well, it's nice to have you with us. Would you meet the panel, Miss Gershom? Thank panel. You. And will you come join me here, please? And you don't know how Bennett Surf is holding his tongue. Will you sit down, please? That is a modified. That's modified, Bennett. 
that uh, modified something or the other. I don't know what. You know, do you know how we keep score, ma'am? Every time you can give the panel a no answer, we flip a card. Ten no's and you've won the game. And now let's le let the audience and the theater and the folks at home know exactly what your line is. Ms. Gershom is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with modified Bennett Surf. <laughs> Ms. Gershom, you know there's a song we have, Oh Shoshana, Don't You Laugh at Me, or something rather. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a chemise you're wearing, isn't it, Ms. Gershom? A Mr. chemise dress. Surf, please. What? <laughs> oh, family program. You want to know if that was a chemise you were wearing. And I told you, I must say, really. Well, anyhow, do you perform some kind of a service? Miss Gershom. Yes. Is it a service that is reasonably commonplace? No. No. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Miss Gershom, could anyone on this panel enjoy your services? Any one of the four of us? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Bellamy. I believe you said uh, Miss Gershom was salaried? Yes. Yes. Do you work for a profit making organization? No. no. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. You work for some branch of the government? Yes. Ours? No. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, Miss Gershom, is the government you work for a member of the United Nations? Yes. Is it one of the big four of the United Nations? No. No. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. I'd like to get back to that. We couldn't enjoy it. Uh, is there anyone who enjoys your services? I hope. Oh, good. Uh, for a minute, I thought maybe she, you know, operated a, an electric chair or something. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant thoughts in the Sunday evening. Would you, would, would you consider your work more intellectual than physical? I didn't would you consider your work more intellectual than physical? It's both. Yes, it's both, but I would think the balance would lie on the intellectual side. But you do move about a bit in your work. Yes. Do you go from place to place? Some things. Is there any uh, special dexterity uh, or uh, physical, special physical ability uh, needed for your type of work? Uh, yes and no. I would think, Miss Dorothy, in the context of the question, I'll give you a no. You may want to fight me about it later, but it would mislead you very much if I gave you a yes, and I know you don't like to be misled, so you've got a no. Six down and four to go, Mr. Bellamy. Is there anything legal about the services that you perform? We'd like to think that all of our <laughs> guests have something legal about the services. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bellamy, would you like to... Has it anything to do with, with the law? With the law? Specifically or generally? I'd better say generally. <laughs> there it goes, <laughs> did you, Mr. Bellamy? Um, uh, do you come in, into physical contact with people uh, in the administration of this, these services? Yes. Uh, small conference. <laughs> Well, we've discussed this, Ralph, and we want to be fair. I'm so we'll sure give you, you a no. That makes it seven down <laughs> and three to go, Miss Francis. Uh, no, physical contact. Physical contact is not a mm -hmm. necessary part of the service. Is there something to promote better cultural feelings between your country and this country in what you do? Mm, not to gain your speaking, I dare say, generally rather than specifically. Wouldn't make any difference <laughs> Wouldn't anyway. Wouldn't make any difference. No, that makes it eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Gershom, might the uh, division or service in which you are enlisted be used in wartime? Yes. Would it be more likely to be uh, a, an effective instrument in wartime than in peacetime? <laughs> Yes, we would have to be on, on the hard facts of effective yeah. application, we would have to yeah. go with you, yes. 
Well, would it have anything to do with any one of the new weapons or uh, devices or machines that are being developed at this time? No, that makes it nine down and one to go, Miss Kilgallen. Is there anything at all scientific about what you do? No. No, that's ten down and no more to go, and I want you to meet Colonel Shoshana Gershom, who is head of the Women's Auxiliary of the Israeli Army. Colonel Gershom was very worried that she would not be able to answer all your questions. She did very well. Yeah, magnificently. Uh, might I not ask, doesn't, doesn't the Israeli army use some of these new weapons? And Bennett, <laughs> Bennett, please now. Retire gracefully. There isn't a missile for miles, please. Why are you here in the United States, Colonel? I'm here on behalf of uh, the Israeli bonds campaign. For the 10th anniversary? The 10th anniversary of Israel. Well, it's wonderful to have had you with us. Congratulations to you and all the young ladies in your city. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our alternate sponsor. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I must ask my friends on the panel to blindfold themselves. Panel, are you all blindfolded? Yes, sir. That's yes, the way it looked. That's funny, isn't it? Now, will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? In the case of our mystery guest, we dispense with the usual forms of questioning and go to another form. You will ask one question at a time in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it all with our distinguished guest, Ralph Bellamy. Well, uh, from that uh, applause, obviously, uh, it's someone we all know, uh, do you by any chance have any connection with uh, a recent picture, a picture that just opened, Gigi, let's say? No, I don't. That's the <laughs> Heaven. Do you have anything to do with either television or the theater? Yes. Mr. Sir? An opera singer, no doubt. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, are you a male? Yes. <laughs> Don't want the voice, will you? <laughs> I was just about to ask if it was a curvaceous blonde. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, are you more noted for television than for your work in the theater? I'm afraid so. Mr. Bellamy? Uh, do you have a weekly series? Very. <laughs> W E E K L Y. <laughs> Miss Francis? Are you a comedian on this series? Weekly. Very. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sir? Is the show named after you? It wasn't named before me. <laughs> uh, Miss Kilgallen? Is there a dummy here? <laughs> Miss Kilgallen, I resent that. Not on this side of the stage. <laughs> All right, Miss Darling. There are over here. <laughs> okay, Where am I? It's you. It's Ralph. me. It's uh, me. I guess. Um. Well, would your first name be Bob? Bob, B-O-B? Yes. No. <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Did you have a last name in mind? <laughs> yes. Are you, um, do you appear on a network other than this network? Yes, I do. Mr. Sir? Would that be NBC? Yes, it would. Miss Kilgallen? How does that help? <laughs> <laughs> We have so many. Uh, do you do anything besides be funny, like sing or dance? Yes. Okay. 
Mr. Bellamy? Is, is your uh, weekly show a situation comedy show? <coughs> well, the situation Re is we could use more comedy. <laughs> I detect something adorable in that voice. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Would a red-headed woman not approve of that statement? Mm, yep. Are you bigger than a bread box? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Allen. Miss Bailey. Is it the inimitable Steve Allen? Steve Allen. <laughs> That was wonderful. Welcome home. It was. It's always fun to be on this show. It's sort of like old home week around here for me. Well, it's old, old home week for us. I must say that, uh, as most of you know, we all worked together for a long time, and we all became tremendously fond of this gentleman. He went off and got to be such a big star that he couldn't stay with us. We were pleased about that, but unhappy that he had to leave us. And it's wonderful to have but, you back. But I think we ought to mention the fact that he isn't just adorable on the screen all the time. He's written a new book, and I think we ought to get a plug-in for that. Uh, isn't it just out, Steve? Yes. And I've read it, and it's marvelous. Well, the you. girls on the tenth floor? Well, thank you all. I'm moving <laughs> up. I was going to ask him about it afterwards. You know, I didn't I, know who the girls were. John, were. Steve. <laughs> Contestant after this word from our sponsor. Panel, let's see what you can do with the final contestant. Will you come in and sign in, please? Right there. Joe, uh, Geo, Geo Church. Joe Church. Mr. Church, where are you from? I'm from New York. Ever set any broken bones? Try those things as <laughs> well. Mr. Sorry. Church, will you meet the panel? Panel, will you meet Mr. Church? I was just kidding. Actually, I can use this one still. <laughs> now, Mr. Church, you know how we keep score? Yes, I do. Fine, then let's let the folks at home and our friends in the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. minutes and 15 seconds. I will tell you that Mr. Church is self-employed and will begin with Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Church, may I assume that you're not any kind of a cop of any type, including a private eye? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, why? Um, is it, you're so kind of uh, well-built and everything. Uh, does that have anything to do with your work, your, uh, the way you move and uh, Sometimes, your yes. strength? Sometimes, Sometimes. Could I employ you? Yes, you could. Could Arlene? Yes, she could. We will. Would... I, hope you... <laughs> I hope you do. Uh, would we uh, derive some benefit other than uh, in the health department yes. from you? It would be something that would affect our lives in another way than the purely physical. I don't think it would affect it much, no. You don't think? Well, it would benefit us. Well, the, if you were to assume the posture which would make it reasonable that you would want, wish to take advantage of I the services which Mr. Church has to offer, then it would benefit you, yes. Would you have to be in a particular kind of situation to need your services, Mr. Church? Yes. Is it kind of an emergency? No. No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Bellamy. Well, Dorothy asked if uh, she and Arlene could use their services. Could Bennett and I avail ourselves? That's right. It if you were in the posture to require these particular services, you would be perfectly free to engage them as anybody I else. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> uh, do you um, uh, perform these services indoors? Sometimes. But it can be outdoors, too? Yes. Uh, do you go to people, or do they come to you for these services? Can't answer that yes or no, Ralph. You have to oh, do take they, your do choice. Do people come to you for these services? Yes. Uh, do you wear any kind of a uniform? Sometimes. And, but not always? Not always. Uh -huh. um, do you use any kind of equipment in uh, uh, rendering these services? No. I'm sorry. We're going to have to flip all the cards because we've run out of time. I was thought you might. If you'd gotten the key to this, you'd have gotten it very quickly. Mr. Church is a ballet dancer and a very good one, too. <laughs> we, uh... The last time I saw Mr. Church, 
he was dancing in Philadelphia at that big party for Tut Shaw that I went to, but I think his, his fame basically rests because he initiated the part of the gangster in Slaughter on 10th Avenue, didn't you? Yes. It? Fine. Thanks very much for being our guest. Thank nice you for having you with us. And now, until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Good night, John. Good night, Ralph. Come Good again. Good night, Arlie. Good night, Arlie. It was nice to have you with us, Thank Ralph. Thank you. How would you like to see him do an entrechat or something gay? I think he's... Good I night, Bennett. Like... <laughs> Good night, Witch Doctor Daly. Good night. I'd like to see you do an entrechat or something, <laughs> Mr. Surf. And good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What's My Line? If you'd like to attend our broadcast and see the panel and our guests in person... Write for tickets to What's My Line, CBS Television, 485 Madison Avenue, New York, 22, New York. Transportation for contestants on What's My Line is the range American Airlines. What's My Line is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the CBS Television Network.